what is outside our universe? Well, there's two conclusions I've ever found. One is that it's just a field of infinite black holes, similar to the stars that you see when you look out. And so those black holes are basically just pulling us all, all our galaxies to our inevitable doom. Or if you've ever wondered about multiverse, what is like, uh, uh, science fiction? They're always talking about wormholes and traveling to alternate realities and parallel universes and uh, different dimensions. <laughs> Even though that phrase is a little uh, used improperly, right? So. Basically, more logically, we live in a giant, infinitely large black hole, but it's more like Swiss cheese, and our universe is in a pore of that. And so when they're talking about multiple universes and, uh, you know, different alternate dimensions or parallel universes it's it's akin to there being other pores within this super infinite black hole that and uh if you could make a wormhole you'd be traveling to one of these other pores right and so aside from my considerations of how I think wormholes are perfectly flawed and to spare fantasy is that it's just uh, each of these pores would be able to contain a different quantum structure so quantum so particles that wouldn't sustain here but you should pause this so you can it's not like me you want to see my face anyway right? but, uh, so in subquantum physics basically how particles structure and uh great. Well, that would happen differently in different pores of this, right? So then stuff like tesseracts, or I think that's what that word is, or is that from Marvel? There's a term for, or a, I don't know, the string theory, they have these weird multiple dimension devices that can just like intertwine and go around and do all this fancy weird shit. So in those pores, you know, maybe it's possible for, for matter to structuralize that at a quantum level or subquantum. I don't know. It's early in the morning. I wanted to explain what's outside of our universe. Um, that's pretty much it.